Hey guys, it's Cassie and Met Gala Monday happened yesterday. Okay, this is part one of the Met Gala. We're gonna get part one in September. We're gonna get part two, first Monday of May, 2022. I'm so excited, if you cannot tell, today we're gonna do a fashion review. I am so excited to give my unsolicited opinion um, from my unqualified self, sitting in the comfort of, of my home. This year's theme is in America, a lexicon of fashion. Guys, if you're new here, my name is Cassie and I'm a self-diagnosed luxury addict. I put out videos on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays, so if you like luxury fashion, then you're gonna love it here. So head down there, subscribe, turn on the bell, become a member of our luxury addicted family. When are we going to rehab? <laughs> Never. Guys, are you ready? Let's go. Okay, Emma Chamberlain. Basically like silver and gold, we've got these two rhombus <laughs> shapes over the titties, mini skirt with this sort of would we call, what would we call this? Is it a train? What is that? Anyway, I think she looks nice. I think the hair and makeup, shoes go well and all of that. It's just like, obviously it's not gonna be my favorite look of the night because I want drama. I want a showstopper, but I think she looks nice. Kiki Palmer is in Sergio Hudson. I love this dress. I think it's stunning on her. She looks incredible. The hair and makeup, everything works. Everything's looking glorious. Um, she looks great. I love the low back. I think it's sexy, but it's still chic and all of that. I do think it's maybe slightly too safe, but let's see what else comes. Anna Winter doesn't always, has never really shown an incredible show-stopping look at the Met Gala. That's just not who she is. But here she is an Oscar de la Renta giving us very much a floral moment. And to be honest with you, this is the most bold she's gone, I feel, in a very long time. Timothy Chalamet, one of the co-chairs. And uh, do you want to, I just think, I'm sorry, in my eyes, this man can do simply no wrong, so maybe I'm biased, but I love how fun and young it is. I love from the waist up we have, I am at a prestigious event, Met Gala, yes, with a sodden, is that even a bow tie? I don't know what's going on there, but with something restricting the neck, good on you. And then from the waist down we have sweats and converse. And to be honest with you, I kind of love it. I really do. And I think that maybe it's also that kind of nod to what we've all been enjoying wearing for the last year or so kind of thing. So good on you, Timothy. Okay, so Amanda Gorman's dress was also meant to be kind of like inspired by the Statue of Liberty. You'll see the kind of like laurels around her head and all of that. It didn't go there for me, it really didn't. It's giving me prom vibes, dare I say. It's giving me Sherry Hill Giovanni. I said it, I said it. It's Vera Wang. I don't get like this. I don't know what it is. It just doesn't look fabulous and luxury and all of that. I love the colour, but I'm really sad for Amanda because I really, really wanted her to, wanted her to come and slay and I, me to absolutely love her look. But um, it's just, it's, it's not, it's not hitting where it should hit. Billie Eilish. She killed it. She sudden killed it. Oh my gosh, the blonde hair, it was giving us Marilyn, America, in this go gorgeous, is it a peach? What kind of, it, she looks stunning. I would hate to be walking in straight after her, okay? Because she just looks incredible. Wow, get it, girl. Spread that, tr spread that sodding train down the steps. Yes, glorious. Yara Shahidi wore this dress that was actually inspired by Josephine Baker, but made by Dior. Stop. She just looked stunning and timeless. The hair, everything, this sweeping train, glorious. The little sodden pockets. She usually shows up to show out and I appreciate that. Sweetie, stop. Your first Met Gala and your sodding killed it. Of course, she looks insane. Her body is just, don't even, don't even. The hair with the crystals in it, this entire outfit is all crystalled, draped. Now, apparently, I hope I get this right, the dress is actually made up of the African-American heritage flag and the Filipino flag. And that is her heritage, and what she said is that that is what makes her American, so I love that. Also, I did spot the Renee Cow Villa um, windy windy, that's definitely not the official name of those, heels, love that as well. Stop. She killed it. She looked amazing. Lil Nas X. I'm sorry. He said, pass the parcel. I raise you. So <laughs> he walked on the red carpet in this massive, you know, cloak, a, a regal cape, right? Then they whipped it off. He was in a silver sodden coat of armour. Is that what it's called? And then guess what? Walked up a few stairs, ripped it off, an all sparkling catsuit, basically. I hate the boots. I don't think that they work. Everything else, I'm very here for. Jennifer Hudson, yes. 
this just hugged the body perfectly the neckline was stunning she just looked fantastic it was simple yet fabulous and i th think she looks incredible truly hate to say it because i love her and i really was once again rooting for her serena williams look i loved the like feather cape thing very met gala loved that but the lace cat suit oh no no it didn't look right and then that bag as well also didn't seem to work ah oh, it was just it wasn't it's not it's not working for a it mm. so i believe kim petrus is wearing a horse head now this is just me but when it comes to met gala i i want drama i want extravaganza okay um but i also don't want Mm, this much novelty and this is too much novelty for the Met Gala for me personally I'm like why why was there a horse head what's the story here do I even want to know the story like you know so that was just a whole bunch of ridiculousness was it not Iman looked like a sodding queen as she should I mean it was absolutely glorious it was gold and it was opulent and it was just stunning we must also talk about um Storm Reed to the Met Gala. To the Met Gala. Not something that you would sort of wear on a Saturday night to your friend's party. No, okay, no, to the Met Gala. Mm, okay. Megan the Stallion. Is this a Met Gala worthy dress? I don't think so. This is prom dress again, I'm sorry, and I hate to say it because I really wanted her to sudden come and slay, and this is a disappointment. Tracy Ellis Ross, we know she comes, she serves. I almost felt like it was a bit so. She's in Balenciaga Couture. It's a glorious, like, cobalt, almost purple. But yes, I kind of felt like she would wear this on any red carpet, you know? Addison Ray. Okay, whether or not you uh, are happy with the decision to include TikToker Addison Ray uh, on the Met, Car Met Gala red carpet, she is in, I believe, 2003 Tom Ford for Gucci. So, American designer. I mean, I think she looks great. I think she looks great once again. I feel like it's an any red carpet look, but she does look beautiful. So there you go. Naomi Osaka, she really leaned into her dual heritage for this outfit and it is a Louis Vuitton. I hate the sodding shoes. They're from the new collection and the boots. Why would you pair boots with this look? I don't know. I hate the shoes so much. Frank Ocean, rarely are we blessed with his presence. Um, he's in Prada, but that's really not what we're bothered about, really, are we? It's that weird green baby sitting on his hip that's animatronic and is truly terrifying. Why? Um, was watching the red carpet and he was like, oh, America, movie magic. That doesn't help anybody. I am even more confused than I was when I first saw you, you know, traipsing down the red carpet with it. I simply ride with a capital R for every single thing Megan Fox puts on her body at the moment. She just, she just, she just looks stunning, okay? And she can pull off everything. Sierra, okay. She did the theme so well. Okay, so she's in this glorious lime green. Love it. Juicy. Yes. She's wearing her husband's number because he's an NFL player and she's got a little American football clutch. The hair looks incredible. I just love, I love the play into the America theme. I love the fact that she's tied in herself and her family and you know her husband and all of that. Stop. Absolutely stunning. Peter Dundas. I live for the, of course she looks insane. The cutouts with that body. <laughs> it would be a sin not to have them. Okay, she looks chef's kiss. Donatella. Oh, God love you. This dress was not the one. It was not. Here's the thing. She played it very safe because the top of it is very Versace like I've seen that done before. But then the bottom of it? Oh, no. This skirt. Oh, God, it looked awful. Um, The shoes are white versions of the ones that she came out with last season, which I love, but not for the Met Gala. Not for the sodding Met Gala, my love. No, she didn't. Oh, you didn't bring it home this time. You're very far from home, actually. Precious Lee wore this dress and it's from Area and it weighs like 80 something pounds. She said it took a cr it took four people to put it on her. 
every single inch is encrusted in crystals and she even has like a little crystal encrusted fan because obviously it's so hot under the weight of that worth it though she looks incredible Hayley Bieber I'm disappointed in you played it far too safe now usually she does play it safe but this was just just a black dress isn't it Justin Bieber decided to wear his own merch uh no so his company Drew House his fashion company he's you know debuted that they now do more than sweats and whatnot and uh he's wearing one of the one of the suits so good for him nice little promo opportunity for you neither here nor there if you ask me I'm just very disappointed in the looks together you know I just I wanted a little bit of something and I got absolutely nothing Casey Musgraves wore an outfit that maybe I'd wear to like a nice dinner party what this is Ralph Lauren and you're at the Met she was like I want to wear something comfortable then don't go then politely decline and attend next year disappointing Gigi Hadid is giving us old Hollywood okay that Jessica Rabbit red hair um black and white for the rest of the look she's got those like the long gloves I think she's even got like a tight situation she just looks very there's something very simple but it works and it gives us that little like bit of spice add that little bit of spice a juicy sauce there she looks fantastic and just truly beautiful and stunning what is more American than denim? Lupita Nyong'o really came and gave us the denim dress that um, we deserve to see. Have you ever seen denim look this chic, okay? With the like half of its glittery, half of its your classic denim, the bodice, the like ruffled train at the back there. It was just, it just worked and it suited the theme and she looked absolutely glorious. Oh, Kimberly. Kimberly Kardashian West what the hell are we going to do with you okay so she really came um on that Donda train Kim really just looked like a bit like a bat to be very honest with you um for all we know that that is her could be a body double could be whoever she could have been like oh not feeling it today but you know got to still deliver the look off you go for all we know she's you know she had her feet up in her hotel room ordering room service having a great time watching the vogue live stream as the rest of us are you know simone biles wore an outfit by erin now there's there's two parts to this outfit and i see the vision i just don't really think the execution was there so she has this black bodysuit with crystals obviously she's going to take this crazy 88 pound dress off so that you know she can relax and breathe once she's inside right so you have this an ode to her gymnastics and whatnot love that right the dress on top i don't think goes with the bodysuit that well and the shoes just completely throw the whole thing off they look like little hooves what i thought that we'd thrown those away like four or five years ago after our uni days like what are we doing here so i just feel like together it didn't really work but separately minus the shoes the shoes cannot be saved the bodysuit and the dress separately would have looked amazing i just think together it looks like too much and a bit mismatched every single time i see a picture of jlo i am reminded that i'm 28 and i am losing the game okay because if i look like this and she looks like that at her age there's one winner here and i'll tell you what it's not me she looks incredible she is in ralph lauren american designer ding 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 this very like ranch cowboy look that is exactly what i wanted from this theme the cowboy hat she's one of the few people that's actually worn a cowboy hat to this and i actually thought there would be a lot more zero notes surely nobody can say anything against this look because it's bang on theme and it's sodding j-lo rose from blackpink i thought she looked cute um i'm really scared to say this because the the k-pop fans are they're tough i i thought it was really nice but i didn't think it was met gala worthy two words for you zoe kravitz wow run me over with a truck zoe glorious stunning is she essentially just wearing a mesh sheet of crystals and a thong yes can she pull it off 100 percent if i could i would that is that is all i'm saying if i could pull this off Oh my gosh you would never see me not in this kendall jenner absolutely killed it one of my favorite looks of the night <sighs> everything was perfection did you see how those crystals moved when she moved oh my gosh swaying on her body oh this thing whatever this thing is i love that shape across the chest there that was lovely i can't get my words out it's like two o'clock in the morning <laughs> 
she looked beautiful i love that the shoes that went with it were so super like nothing there you know just like a very very simple sandal so you didn't take anything away hair and makeup super simple glorious stunning dress i don't know if it had anything to do with america <laughs> however absolutely stunning i simply cannot wait for kristen stewart to end her contract with chanel because this poor woman is just being stifled from turning out looks because chanel is arguably the worst design house for the red carpet <laughs> This is something, you know, a middle-aged woman would wear to, uh, I don't know, a brunch with her friends. No, this is not Re Re Met Gala. It's not Kristen Stewart. Normani. Valentino. What a dress. How do I even describe this colour? It's almost like a neon mustard, if that makes any sense. The sleeves. The style of this dress was just, it was dramatic and chic and timeless and her eye makeup matched. This was stunning. She's, she's up there, actually. This is one of my favourite looks, I think. Emma Raducanu. Sadly also been dressed by Chanel. What's this got to do? Anything to do with the theme? This is just like, oh yeah, this is just head-to-toe cruise look. Get on with it. Have you seen the shoes? Don't even. Look at the point on that. And it's a wedge. <laughs> I'm absolutely fuming, okay? It is 3am here in England. I've been waiting for Rihanna to stake her claim on the red carpet of the Met and she turned up in a Balenciaga coat that I thought, don't you worry Cassie, she'll be taking it off and there'll be an absolutely incredible piece underneath. No, she's just in a Balenciaga. What's happened? What has happened? Okay, this woman she used to see the theme, she used to slay the theme. She made the theme her bitch. No. How could you do this to me? How could you do this to me? And ASAP Rocky is in uh, Quilt. I am a steadfast Rihanna fan, okay? I have her sodding a, a, a book, her coffee table book, okay? With, with the sodding limited edition stand. I bought from Fenty, the clothing line. And you do this to me? Whom do I send an invoice to? Okay? Because I'm grossly disappointed and this has wasted my time. Well, what a way, what a way to end this video, isn't it? But my top two, Kendall Jenner and Normani. Well, I can't go to sleep now. That's absolutely wasted my time. Guys, let me know what you thought of the looks. I'm going to leave a link to another video here in case you're interested. Have an amazing morning, afternoon or evening, wherever you are. I'm in a bit of a mood, yes. In the words of my father, If you like it, tell your friends. If you don't, keep your mouth shut. I will see you in my next video and hopefully that'll be a lot more, a lot more positive. Oh, I just feel very let down.